It's my turn. What is good, YouTube? It's SVG back with another big video. And here today, I'm going to be talking about one of the new characters actually coming to Dry Ball Legends. Because, as you guys know, the game seems very dry right now. We need some new characters. New characters always seem to, you know, bring the game some content because, you know, mainly, it's mainly PvP based, you know, it comes with new events as well. But right here is the, top, the Sparky Tailist. Not really the Tailist, but, you know, Top Sparky is using in PvP for the second anniversary Season 2 Space Time Duel. Of course, the sparking list looks basic. The extreme list looks basic, pretty much. But the heroes, it's always going to be the same. Shouts always going to be the number one use hero every single time. These things don't. These things rarely change, bro. Like they really do. Of course, Vegeta's, Vegeta's always going to be number one. Always, every single time, every single day, no matter the time, no matter when it is, no matter what season it is, it's always going to be like that. But you guys didn't know. There's, the step of ban is leaving in six days, and the uh, anniversary, you know, whatever ban is leaving eight days, and you know that's pretty much that's 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 all that's leaving. And when those things leave, when those things officially leave, especially the anniversary rising banner, that's like literally the last of the anniversary stuff we're, we're ever gonna have. Leave these two banners right here. When these two leave, I expect that you know we're gonna be having some new content, some new characters, because mind you, these banners, are the most ho horrendous banners. I've ever laid eyes on bro it's like it's, it's very bad like what like <laughs> i dropped 15 count on, on that band just to pull him on us pull goku on a single and this band i told you guys i ain't touching it i literally be saving my crystal i haven't even, i haven't spent a dime i have not spent a dime since the anniversary ended at all i actually know scratch that i haven't spent a dime since i touched the anniversary rising banner for um goku and vegeta but the legend step up banner i'm not doing no multi i don't care if it's a discount first steps of 100 these guys ain't worth their bears he needs a zenkai Oh, you need him at Zenkai. Go on, he's Zenkai. Goten's decent. Vegeta's very good. Goku's very good. Go Super Saiyan 3, Goku's solid. And Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta's very, very good. And I told you guys, this man right here, Legends Yellow. <laughs> Legends Yellow, I know for a fact. I know for a fact. I ain't gonna know no. I'm not doing no daily. I was talking about it the time. I'm like, should I do it daily? But I know for a fact, you guys will. I know for a fact, people have someone this banner. For a fact, just because it's a guaranteed sparking. Bro. I don't care if it's a guaranteed spark game, bro. Look at this. Look at this. For a fact, I know when you guys will go on. For a fact, I know you guys will pike on. <laughs> Yo, imagine pulling pike on in 2020. That's crazy. Yo, Goku Black, Bojack, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And the rest of them, four of these guys. Cell, Hit, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, Kai Ken. And Yellow Vegito, Transforming. Those are the four you want. But those four down here, bro, get out. Get out my face. I know, I know, I know, I know how you, I don't know how you guys do it. Like you guys see the worth of a banner, but still that one, that one unit that you want, that you one unit, that one unit you want, you gonna do anything for it? The Zenkai waking up for Vegeta, I ain't, I am someone on this too. I don't care about getting Zenkai. Well, I just don't care. Like he's not, he's not good. To me, he's not good. But to you guys, you guys might just do it just because you know it's a free Zenkai one. Well, not really free. You know, you spend one K crystals, and so I'm at six point, you know, seven K. So you know, I'm really, really gonna save it all that. You feel me? But his bidding ends, ends on the 27th. Around August, August is going to be... It's, it's hot. Like, it's August going to be dry. I feel like August might be dry. Because Ultra Space Time Rush is reset in three days. The events, the story events is going to leave in three days. That means, you know, events is my reset. The so Monster event ends in 10. And the Ultra Space Time Rush Champions ends in 17 days. Just at the same time as the co-op ends. So pretty much August, bro. In August, there's going to be a lot of new things coming. And the new characters should be coming the first week or the second week of August. The main story, I keep on telling every single video, bro. The main story has not been updated whatsoever. I don't know why. I know why you guys take so long to update the main story for what. You guys want, you guys can't, uh, you guys have the time to update hard mode, but you can't, you guys don't have the time to update actual, the actual story. The actual story that I actually read, like, I, I be skipping too, but it actually got interesting, but. This band ends on the 3rd of August. The other band ends on the 1st. The Super Saiyan um, Vegito band is leaving on the... Is leaving. It's actually leaving today, I think, as well. So, pretty much, in the first week or the second week of August... <laughs> I think it's really going to be the first week because the PvP season ends on the 4th of August as well. So, within this amount of time, I feel like we should really be getting cooler. We should, no, not cooler. We should be getting the new Turles and we should be getting the new um, Goku. Unless the Ultra Space Time Rush units... Which we not, I'm not just you know UST units, but we haven't gotten that in a long time. So I really think first week or second week of August, new characters incoming, 